So one crucial step to becoming a model is to get represented by a modeling agency. And in order to do that, you have to submit to that modeling agency to get represented. Um, one way to submit is to fill out the online submission forms. Another way to do that is to email the agencies directly and let them know that you're seeking representation. However, there are several crucial mistakes that a lot of aspiring models make when emailing the modeling agencies. I want to let you guys know how to avoid those mistakes and actually get a response from the modeling agencies when you email them for representation. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are checking out this channel for the very first time and you're interested in becoming a model, definitely check out this channel, subscribe, you're gonna find all of the contents and all the information that you're looking for on how to become a model and how to be successful in the modeling industry. All right, so let's get into this video. So the first mistake that a lot of aspiring models make when emailing an agency is they're not applying to the right agencies. As I've said in previous videos, you have to know what category of modeling you fit into and what category of modeling you're looking, you're seeking representation for. So if you're a high fashion model and you meet the requirements, you have the edgy look and everything, then you can apply to um, your Wilhelmina, your Ford, your Next Models, your Elite Models, all of the top modeling agencies because you fit exactly what they're looking for. And that's in most cases, that's exactly what they're looking for. Um, however, if you are more on the catalog or commercial print or maybe lifestyle modeling, then you want to look into agencies that specializes in those categories. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of these top agencies do have other divisions. Um, for instance, Wilhelmina has like a plus size division. So if you're a plus size model, you can still apply to those agencies, but specify in your submission that you are a plus size model seeking representation in that area. Second mistake that a lot of Aspire models make is sending pictures to the agencies that do not look like them. Whether the pictures are old and dated, whether they've been over retouched and it no longer looks like you, maybe you have a completely different hairstyle, different hair color, or you know you lost some weights, gained some weights, whatever, and maybe the pictures are no longer an accurate representation of what you look like. This is a big mistake because if the agencies decide to interview you and they see that your look does not match the pictures that you submitted, this is gonna be a red flag for them. The next mistake that a lot of aspiring models make when sending uh, a submission email is not being concise. Agents are extremely busy. Um, they have tons of things to do and the last thing they wanna do is to read a long drawn out email from an aspiring model um, about why they want to get represented, right? So as you guys are thinking about emailing these agencies, make sure that you keep your information short, concise. Let them know, hey, my name is this. Um, this is my measurement. Uh, this is my age. And this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for representation um, in this area. Looking forward to your response. Thank you. Keep it short, keep it sweet, be concise as possible. And that way you would have a higher chance of the agents actually reading your email and responding. The fourth mistake that a lot of Aspire models make, and I see this one all the time, is sounding too desperate. I've seen a lot of Aspire models write emails where they sound really desperate, like, oh my gosh, I really want to become a model. It's been my lifelong dream. I really want to get represented. I want to be the next best thing. And you know, just sending out this long, passionate email, but it comes across as desperation. You want to be mindful of your tone when emailing these model agencies because you don't want to come across as desperate. It's okay to be passionate, but there's a thin line between being passionate and sounding desperate. So you want to make sure that you're aware of those things. Another mistake that a lot of aspiring models make when emailing a modeling agency is including way too many attachments or attachments with large file sizes, right? So you want to make sure that you keep it concise. Typically it's best to only include maybe two to four images, um, a portrait, a full body shots, profile picture maybe. Um, those are all that you need to submit. But if you feel the need to include more pictures in your submission, maybe you have a portfolio website or something, it's not a bad idea to include a link to your website. So that way you're not uh, clogging up the email with a whole bunch of file attachments. Another mistake that aspiring models make is not having a strong subject line. 
As I said before, modeling agents are extremely busy. They're communicating via email all through the day, even through the weekend. Um, it never stops, right? So you wanna make sure you have a strong subject line. I've seen models put a subject line like, hello, or help me, or help me become a model, or I wanna model. That's not a strong subject line. You need something very strong and direct. So for instance, you could say something like, experienced model seeking representation. The last mistake aspiring models make is sending way too many emails. So if you send an email to a modeling agency, give them a couple of weeks, maybe even some months to follow up. Sometimes aspiring models, they're so desperate and they send emails back to back to back to back where they're almost spamming the modeling agents. That's not a good look because you're gonna get blocked, you're gonna get flagged, and your emails are not gonna go through. So give them some time. If you really wanna follow up, follow up after four weeks of sending your email and only send one follow-up. So if you send an email submission and you don't hear anything back, it's okay to follow up like, hey, just wanted to bring this to the top of your inbox. I really wanna get represented by your agency and I would love to have a conversation about that. Looking forward to your response. Again, keep it short, keep it simple, and only send one follow-up. If you don't hear back the second time, most likely means that they're not interested. So you need to move on to the next agency. And always guys, don't give up because an agency does not respond to you or you get rejected. Um, again, make sure you're applying to the right agency. Um, there are tons of models that I've made videos about this on this channel. There are tons of models that were rejected several times, numerous times where they should have given up, but they kept going and now they're supermodels um, and you guys can be as well. If you guys like this channel, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate it. It helps me out with the algorithm. Don't forget to sub. I'll see you guys in my next one.